Hello and welcome. I'm Susan Perny Mark. I'm a surface design artist and I work in a variety of different media on fabric. Whether it's screen printing, stamping, or using other products onto my fabric, I often find using a print table to be very useful. It provides a firm yet forgiving surface for whatever I'm working on and I'd like to show you how it's made. The first thing we'll be looking at today is our print table and this is an indispensable part of screen printing and you'll find it very useful for a number of different techniques. It's half inch plywood cut into a 24 inch square. I have several of these. I also have larger ones that sit and take over most of my tabletop. This is a really useful size as it fits fat quarters quite nicely. I've got two layers of low loft batting underneath that I've stapled around to the back. You can't see that right now, but I've also then stapled on some canvas in a separate stapling and just pulled it really taut so that it's firm. The reason I do this is that I can then, once the cover gets soiled and too dirty, I, so I can take this off and replace it without disturbing the batting underneath. You want a soft surface that you can pin into to stretch your fabric out and also in a lot of techniques having that softer surface is really good for things like the screen printing and different other media. If you want something that's a little cheaper, a little more portable and certainly a quite a bit lighter is this is a half inch foam core that I've got at the craft store. I've used uh, duct tape pulled around a towel underneath or you could use quilt batting as well, taped it down and then covered it with a bit of an old sheet and this works really well. I've cut this actually to fit the size of my suitcase so with that when I travel and teach, it's a great size to work with. It will over time sort of bow a bit, and that's easily remedied just by taking everything off, flipping it over, and uh, using the other side so you get both uh, curves, as it were. I use the either the flower head pins or T pins to fasten my fabric down. And you want something with a flat head because very often you'll be laying the screen over top and so you don't want a head of a pin to dig into your work. Now let's look at how to fasten the fabric onto your print table. So we'll turn this over. It's got lots of design on it and uh, Sometimes people will use their print cloth for different uh, things like bags or backgrounds of something. It's, uh, it's always interesting to see what kind of texture happens. Now with the pinning, it's important to pin in this direction so that if when the tension happens, you've got this well pinned and it's not going to pull. If I were to pin it this way and pull on the fabric, the fabric comes right out. So most of the time, certainly for screen printing, I would put, for fabric this size, I would put a pin at each corner and into each side. Usually 8 to 10 inches is enough. Sometimes if you're using very stretchy fabric, say a silk, that once it gets some medium into it, it starts to stretch quite a bit. So you may want to pin a little more frequently. Just a little bit of experience will show you what's enough. And that's how simple a print table is to make. I hope you found it useful. I have lots of other information on my website. I conduct other online workshops and I also travel and teach. So if you're interested in things that I do, I have a website 
or you can email me. Thank you and I hope to see you again.